Let's not see garlic as a bad herb because it has several advantages to your body. Example is its antimicrobial and antioxidant properties. Antimicrobial, which means it kills microorganisms or stops their growth. It protects your body from free radicals, which causes damage. But just as everything is good, there is always a side effect deep down. And for garlic, it happens to the medications we take or health conditions we are in. It will end up increasing our problems more and more, which is not good. In this video, I will be discussing with you health issues we can have or medications we could be on, where garlic poses a threat. If we have it, we should limit or stop our taking of garlic. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Let's go! 1. Irritable Bowel Syndrome This is an intestinal disorder that causes pain in the stomach, leading to wind, diarrhea, and constipation. Here's why this happens. Garlic contains fructans. This is a type of carbohydrate that can be hard for some people to digest. Worst comes if you have irritable bowel syndrome. The fructans can cause symptoms such as bloating, gas, and diarrhea. This is the fructans ferment in the large intestine, producing gas and attracting water, which can increase the IBS symptoms and we know the result, lots of discomfort. 2. Acid reflux. This happens when the sphincter muscle at the lower end of the gullet relaxes at the wrong time, allowing stomach acid to back up into the esophagus. This can cause heartburn and other symptoms. Those suffering from this problem, their experience will worsen. The symptom will increase, because we all know if we eat garlic it's irritate our gullet, could be small, but it happens. The garlic will relax your lower esophageal sphincter, that is the muscle that prevents stomach acid from traveling back into the gullet, causing this sickness to occur even more. Heartburn, chest pain, and a sour taste in the mouth become more, making hard to manage the problem anymore. 3. Bleeding Disorders If you bleed unnecessary a lot, doesn't have to be only when you get wounded, or even those on anticoagulant therapy, like warfarin, should be very cautious. Garlic has a natural blood thinning property because of its sulfur compounds, it then adapt platelet aggregation. This property actually has its benefits, that is, it can be beneficial for stopping any risk of heart disease. But if you are on blood thinning medications, it can increase your risk of bleeding. We don't want you to lose more blood. Blood has several functions in from transporting oxygen and nutrients to the lungs and tissues forming blood clots to prevent excess blood loss, carrying cells and antibodies that fight infection. So stop, and when you're okay again, you can use the delicious garlic in your food. 4. Pre-surgical precautions. The blood thinning properties of garlic also extend to the surgical patients. It's best for you if you don't take any garlic at all in the weeks leading up to a surgery, so this problem of excessive bleeding that was previously won't happen even more when your body is cut open. I am guessing your doctors will already tell you if you are planning for an operation. So just adhere, he or she is right. 5. Hypotension Garlic has the power to lower your blood pressure, which is actually good, but the problems comes if you already have low blood pressure or you are on medication to control your high blood pressure, it could cause hypotension. This means the heart, brain, and other parts of the body may not get enough blood. Symptoms of hypotension are dizziness, fainting, blurred vision, and in severe cases, shock. 6. Interactions with antiviral drugs This are drugs that deals with a vast group of viruses, like herpes, hepatitis, and influenza viruses. Garlic could interfere with the effectiveness of this antiviral medications, like those they use to treat HIV. Here is why. The compounds in garlic induces liver enzymes that metabolize with the drugs, stopping the treatment from working perfectly. This interaction is very concerning especially for those relying on a precise medical dosage to manage their conditions well. 7. Interactions with immunosuppressive drugs. This is a class of medicines that reduces the intensity of the immune response in the body. In clear terms, they are medications that allows the body less likely to resist a transplanted organ. Garlic will interact with this immunosuppressive drugs, making its function not to happen. And from the use, we have seen how important the drugs are. So we need to manage this condition and stop taking garlic till we are very fine and healthy. Don't get me wrong. Garlic has a lot of benefits as was first mentioned but there are some basic times it poses a threat. So during this times we should stop our taking of it. And now we know the times. Please if you enjoyed the video, click the like, subscribe and notification icon to not miss out on other interesting content from Fitness Label. We got topics on how to benefit your kidney. Choose one and enjoy.